welcome back to Mamori. I'm Dear Darling, and Skeva will discover a forgotten past and a chosen fate. Uh, well, warning for you. This game contains depictions of depression, anxiety, and suicide may not be suitable for all audiences. It also contains bright flashing imagery, so viewer discretion is advised. Where basically for the next like two or three episodes, we're just doing dino dig stuff because we need to have uh, a final thing, side quest, I believe we need to do, or you know, the final kind of important thing I believe we need to do is we need to get to the top of dino dig and we need to defeat the chicken. And um, basically, as I've been reading from the wiki, uh, the only way to do that is. Uh, hold on, which, which is, um, I, I think we used the plastic spoon last time. Um, the only way to consistently do that, uh, for, firstly we need to make sure we make more dino dollars back than we actually spend using a plastic spoon, but um, the only way to consistent consistently do that is to be at least level 35, um, make Amari happy or whatever, and then use Lucky Strike on him. And then also there's a thing where if Cal is like 36 or something, or maybe even lower level, if, depending if you use a contract or not, he can be fast enough to outspeed a chicken. So I think we could probably do it around level 30 or so. We are not that high enough level yet. But the Dino Dig is a very good place to actually train up and get a load of XP. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going, we're going around here. We're going to be definitely defeating the rabbits um, to actually train up a little bit. Um, because they are one of the best things to defeat to actually get a little bit um, stronger, you might say. Um, because, uh, where, where's Hedda? Um <laughs> it also feels like kind of funny that our strategy has basically never evolved past headbutt and um, heroes still can't do anything <laughs> without just spending a load of juice for no apparent reason. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like um, we, we, we need to get up to higher experience levels, if at all possible, and that is easier said than done because... You know, the, the things in here, I, I have been told, and, you know, we, we can see, they do a lot more damage. Um, is, is this a speed... Speed scaling one? No, it's not. It's, um... Rick, Ricochet's the one that does a lot of damage. Um, but, yeah, it's... What was I going to say? <laughs> it's it just sort of like... This is an optional thing where we can actually grind out levels in this area, as someone has told me very helpfully. Um, but we are going to do it anyway because it's not like I want to like make the game a cakewalk necessarily. It's more of a fact that I am like I kind of want to make sure that we get all the side quest stuff done. And I know there are points of no return. Um, I, as I understand it, I believe the only important one that we have left is the one which is much later on, so I don't actually need to worry about it all that much, but, you know, better safe than sorry, I don't want to, you know, forget about doing these sort of quests or something, so that's why we're doing it now. And Dino Dig is just one of them which I, you know, it seems kind of cool, it seems kind of fun, so doing them now, if we can, is definitely a good idea. So it's not going to be the most interesting thing in the world as we sort of like go around defeating everything. Uh, the Pokemon actually just take forever to defeat. So I don't really, I don't really like defeating the other ones. But we're we're, we're not strong enough to definitely go um, up a floor consistently to defeat those things. So we defeat the Rabbitas because this also is a two in one where we um uh, by doing this we can also um what what, what was I going to say? By doing this we can also um. Uh, do, do the rabbit killer quest, which is the only other quest we have to do. All the other quests, it, I'm pretty sure we don't need to do yet. So it's not going to be the most interesting thing in the world. I think we use next on Mario episodes. Um, you, you might have said um, been a little bit dull already, which you know I'd imagine most people are basically waiting for me to sort of resume back to um doing normal main quest stuff, which you know I, I will show you will happen eventually. Just you know. Don't worry about it. I'm just sort of here. We're all here vibing. Well, hopefully. And so uh, this is probably, you know, it, it seems to be inevitability with a, um, most of my series. is where they all turn into an Animal Crossing series in the end where I just have random conversations about whatever. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying Amaru thus far, you know. I think it's a fun game. And I'd hope you'd agree, at the very least. <laughs> Uh, it's a very nice chat. Like, I love my indie RPGs, you know, there's a reason I played so many of them in the first place on my channel is because they're, they're charming. I, lo I love story-driven, character-based um, 
well, games in the first place. So I'm more, I, I can't believe it's been this long since I played Amori because I actually first heard about it ages, ages, ages ago um, because um, Northern Lion's wife, I've always known as Kate Lovely Momo, uh, I believe started playing it on her stream, which I didn't watch, but I remember hearing about it so often and, you know, looking it up and being like, this kind of reminds me of Earthbound. Like, I wonder if I should play this. Um, and Pyramid Key. Okay, we're, we're not going to go up a floor, as I said. Um, but you know, the next floor we need to go to is floor three. Um, because floor three is the one with, uh, I forgot what I know they're called. Uh, the, the gift for Palmy. So that's what we need to do. But for now, we just, um, make things sad. You. Less enemies there are. Power hit? No. Do we just, just wind up for it? Just, just AOE everything? <laughs> and then you. Well, you can't make things... I feel like we've given you too many healing things. Isn't that a bit too situational? I don't know, but... Well, we're just going to stay here in the pyramid until um, we are forced to leave because of the damage we've taken or whatever. Oh, I forgot we were meant to make um, Aubrey hangry. No, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but that does a reasonable amount of damage. 100 damage each. We can make all be happy, but I don't think that's what we want. So how... Still quite tough. Okay, we're going to give you a painful truth. We are going to make you... No, we're, we're, we're going to do a normal attack with you. We'll do a follow-up attack. No. We'll headbutt you and we'll, we'll, we'll make you annoy Aubrey. And then you you can just cook for your... You can you can just snack time. Why not? You're healing three, three people, probably, so it's not that bad. Snake feels happy. Well, it's a good thing we're going to make you sad. Oh, never mind. Um, I don't know which one I made Aubrey attack because it'll either do less or more damage still does 177 damage so it's not bad but hero but yeah okay en enough about strategy you know what we're here for I mean I mean to be to be fair I do need to like think a little bit about strategy in the start of this otherwise I'm gonna it's gonna be like kind of difficult for me to um, sort of reasonably figure out what I'm doing but still um, we're just sort of here vibing. You you vibing? You doing alright? <laughs> Hope you are. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Hope you. Um, I'm recording this not too long since um, not too long until New Year's. So hopefully you will um, be celebrating a nice New Year's. I don't know anyone doing anything nice. Um, for 2023, me myself might be going to see some fireworks. Hopefully. So that'll be a lot of fun, I think. It's only 40 damage, though, so that's actually not that much. Oh, it's because Sad takes out a lot of them. Um, takes out a lot of the damage as well, doesn't it? Um, hash. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad. Sad beats happy. So theoretically, Mari, you should be just wrecking the snake right now. <laughs> it's very lucky, though, I was just sort of just randomly hissing rather than actually doing damage. They only hit us once, didn't they? Attack again if you need to, but I don't think you'll need to. Wonderful. Wonderbar. I very much have, like, I've been talking about it like in Animal Crossing, but I've been watching MASH? What's that? Um, uh, sorry, not watching. Listening to the songs from a musical called Six, and the songs have super been in my head. It's wunderbar. The House of Horbin. <laughs> it's good to be to recover. 100% juice! Whoa. Okay. Um, wow, that's really good. Uh, I think we should get rid of Pep Talk, because I genuinely don't think it's very useful. Yeah, mood record doesn't make sense because we don't want to make the enemy angry. We want to make them sad. So genuinely, that could be amazing. How much damage does it do, though? We don't know, but it's, it's sort of like a bread thing. Actually, is that even that good? I don't think it actually matters now I think about it. It might matter now that we're, we're training up in the pyramid, but... Nah, I, I don't think this matters. I'm going to be honest. It's not like happy makes makes a difference, though. That's a fair point. That, that, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I don't, I don't think happy matters, but um, it kind of looks like we're meant to make her happy, which is a bit strange. What, what was it? Pep talk. Yeah, but happy emotion doesn't matter, but mash also doesn't matter because we're just going to leave and heal up anyway. I don't remember how difficult these things are to defeat. That one already is sad, which I guess is quite useful, but, um, we'll just do the normal strategy. Let's double in range. You. 
you can just attack this person and you just get ready because we, we got juice me already what we didn't do any damage is the defense too high what what's going on is that what's going on these people just have insane defense in which case we should be using Aubrey's um thing which ignores defense right do we have another attack which ignores defense I don't know I don't know what I'm doing okay why, why, why am I even attacking the hero Don't you have something which... For very sad... Okay, we'll shun. We'll shun you. You... Power hit this one. You... Also attack this one. You... I guess you'll just vibe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we need some enraged energy going on. I mean, your defense will be shattered. So hopefully that will mean... Well, we don't need to do power hits as much anymore. Oh my word! 300 damage! Technically like 400 if you ignore juice. Two! <laughs> Good job, hero. We're still not really doing anything. Uh, you're dead. So, I guess this is where we use Mash. We There's no point using Mash, though, because... Um, we'd much rather use our biggest damage dealer, aka Aubrey, um, to attack these other things, right? So you'll probably kill it, which is fine. Um, this is actually... We gain a lot more experience than I expected. <laughs> this, I don't think it'll take that long. I think I'll probably be done in two two episodes, maybe? Enough grinding? Hopefully. Because, <laughs> I mean, even in this episode, we've, we've already gained like two or three levels. Share food. Interesting. I'm going to predict this is going to be like, you use it on Hero in preparation, but any time Hero uses an item, he someone else also uses it. Get the item. Here and a friend recover some heart. Never mind, it's just a double heal. Um, I guess that's fine. It's, it's not really needed right now, but still. Okay, the porcupines are actually quite easy to fight, so you know, I suppose I'll continue doing so. Um, painful truth. Then you just continue attacking and getting angry at Kel. What else can we talk about? You know, it's been a while since we had like casual conversations. I'm not. I'm not sure if Amari's quite at the stage where I'm like. I can just sort of like talk off the top of my head while I'm simultaneously doing something. Because that was something like, you would not believe it, but Celeste and Hollow Knight ended up being the two games, which I think it was sort of most ubiquitous while well, outside of Animal Crossing. Oh gosh. 90 damage with a dull attack is still surprising, I would say. Um, we still headbutt. I don't know if all we can actually like end up murdering herself about um, by headbutting but we'll, I guess we'll find out um no but I've, I I still always think back to the time I was if you don't know what I was doing I was doing the Pantheon of Hollow Nest in uh, Hollow Knight which is um okay you, you died wonderful which is um basically one of the hardest things to do in in Hollow Knight it's basically a boss rush but with all the bosses uh you, not directly in a row but it's still very difficult and it's basically I, I think it's still the longest thing I've spent doing in any game like achievement wise it was insanely difficult it took forever but i'm gonna be honest the strawberry snakes are really annoying but i think the vegetable is a little bit too strong for us so i, I i'd rather fight a strawberry snake now compared to not especially since there's only one and we are slowly running out of um juice to deal with in the first place so right yeah <laughs> I, I just still think back to doing that um, with Pantheon and Nest and just being like, wow, this takes forever the amount of times I did it. I, I think it was literally like 40 episodes of me just trying to do the hardest thing over and over again. So anytime I'm just like, oh, I'm not sure if I should be doing this in a Let's Play, I wonder if it's going to be entertaining, do people care about this or something, just going to be like, you know. At least you're not doing the Pantheon of Nest all over again. Not that, Pan not that Hollow Knight was bad, Hollow Knight was fantastic, it was just like, it was probably the most boring thing to watch, I'd imagine. Don't quote me on that, because I don't know. But I can't imagine it was particularly interesting watching me, like, play for an hour and then talking about whatever. I mean, maybe, maybe it was, and the Animal Crossing series is kind of popular. Well, not the most popular, I'm going to be honest, but, you know, still people watch it, I mean. So we're nearly at 25, and I think level 25 is actually technically the minimum level you need to be able to do a chicken fight. But, sorry, but chicken fight. I, I don't think it's consistent necessarily doing that, and I don't trust myself necessarily to do it all that well, so... We're just- we're basically just sort of digging here to see if we can, um... If we just, by pure chance, happen to find... The Pyramid Key? 
Oh, but another spoon bites the dust. Because if we had another spoon, then we could go to the third level. We can get the present for Palmy. But that's fine. <laughs> it's not like we're in a rush. We're, we're going to get to the third level eventually. But really right now, we're doing a lot of back and forth and um, healing. And you might be like, why didn't you do this off screen? It's because I didn't have time, basically, to do this off screen. So, you know, here, here we are doing it in the middle of the episode anyway. We're in the middle of the next two episodes. Which is, you know, if anything, it's kind of easy for me. You know, now, allow me to be selfish for a moment where, you know, it's nice to be able to do something where I can just, like, sort of mindlessly do it. I know exactly what I'm doing in the episode. I don't need to, like, you know, because the, the thing with RPGs is often you have to do a lot of backtracking. You have to be like, where do I need to go? Where do I want to be? If anything, we don't even need to buy the spoon because we're not trying to get to higher level floors. We're just trying to, we're going in, we're defeating all the, um, all the enemies and then we're out, basically. <laughs> so there's no point in spending our dino dollars on things we don't need. But this is a fantastic way to grind up. I also, once we get to a high enough level, I believe floor three is where we want to be training up on the chickens or something. That's as I understand it, because if you can outspeed the chickens, they give like 9,000 XP, according to the wiki. Or something in that vicinity, so, you know, we just need to get sort of strong enough to actually do that in the first place. Um, but for now, I don't think we need to really be too bothered about that. We can just sort of do our usual strategy as of right now. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I'm, I'm just sort of surprised how long it takes me to play games sometimes, you know. Omari's well, been out for a couple of years now, I think, and it's, it, I mean, you play it. If you played this and you knew me in life, you'd, or, you know, you knew the games I played and you'd just look at it, you'd be like, yeah, this is absolutely a dear darling sort of game. She should absolutely play, play this. And here I am playing it so many years down the line, just but not really for any good reason. I just, I just, you know, it just took this long for me to actually do so. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always so slow when I'm playing these games. It's like, it's not like I don't want to play these games. I do want to play these games. It's just like, there's a lot of games to be playing. Like, I mean, already with just the channel itself, I'm playing like three games simultaneously, which is still a reasonable amount, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's like, bringing myself to actually play these games in the first place for some reason is just like difficult. Um, I don't, no, we, we don't need to show you. You're, gonna, you're probably dead this turn. Um, I'd imagine. And if you're not, then you'll be next turn at the very least. Um, yeah. I don't really know what I was going with this, to be honest, but... Yeah, there you go. Bunny down. I don't know how many bunnies we've actually defeated, but I'm going to guess we're around the 30 mark or something. 128 clams is like... Oh, it's there, a new skill. It's already like we're offsetting the, the, the opportunity cost in the first place, which is a bit wild. So what does stare do? Reduce all of us to foe's stat. So Amorib just becomes like a debuffer. That's quite interesting. What do we get rid of? Because mm. this is our combo. And we need to be here in case we need to make something sad. So we'd get rid of stab. Oh, that's plausible because then we, that means Amori's no longer doing damage. Amori basically is just our resident debuffer, which is totally fine. IMO. Because Amori is very good at doing that. <laughs> I, I wonder how other people have played this game. You know, have it. Have other people um, got like a different strategy where they're just like, oh yeah, this is what I do. This is, you know, I, I made Kel my like big DPS, you know. Or well, Mori's my DPS. Orbi was just my tank or something. Um, I mean, there are some things you definitely can't do. It's not like you can make anyone but hero your healer, I don't think. Or like maybe Kel was just like your skill monkey. And then, you know, he just uses all the items at the start of a, the thing or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I am curious. Because, you, you, you know, you look at these sort of things and you wonder from, like, a, a, game ooh, a game design perspective, what is, um, not, like, optimal strategy, but what, like, what is, how is the game designed in a way to encourage people to do things a certain way? Because probably the game designers had something in mind um, for these characters in the first place, the way they're meant to be played, right? So, it, it only makes sense that for some things that swing a certain way. So, I wonder what's, like, the most popular playstyle, if you get me. Oh, wow very swift <laughs> and I wonder how like common my s sort of playthrough is in this game like what have I done which you know loads of people have done what, what have I done which basically no one else has done in Baron and Mario let's play I don't know I'm always curious but I suppose that's therein lies of the cool thing about the online community is the fact that you can have these sort of moments 
Ähm. Do you think if I annoy you, then make you enraged, you become, like, the super angry one? I can't imagine that's true, but still. I mean, that's always a, a cool thing about these online, like, online communities, is the fact you can find out exactly what people have done. You can you can discuss exactly all the differences and all the similarities you had for your playthroughs, and then, you know, it all comes out. Oh, I forgot to look at Cal. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Fine, we'll do it again. Um... Yeah. <laughs> it's, maybe I'm the only one particularly curious about that, but I, I just think it's like, a, it's interesting to see, you know? It, certainly, you know, the online, you know, web space and social media and has come with its both its benefits and deficits in the first place, but that's something, you know, when I'm, I'm feeling in a good mood and when I focus on just like you know, nice things which happen. Just the fact that people are like brought together through these games and that sort of thing and have been able to share their own experiences, you know? I'm, I'm sure in this game there's loads of like little small things and secrets which you would never even, um, think about or hear about if, if it was just you yourself playing the game. Experiencing it for yourself, right? Probably. <laughs> and if not, then fair enough. You know, everyone's got these different experiences in first. Oh my word! What we did? 580 damage and made, made them lose 250 juice. That's going to be devastating on bosses. So level 25. So I'll check because this is probably the end of this episode. I'll check if it's possible for us to do fight the chicken, but I don't th think we can comfortably do it. It's plausible, I'm pretty sure, was the strategy, but maybe we can give it a go in the next episode. Let's find out. But for now, uh, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Amari. I've been Nidale. Darling. Likes, comments, description, shares are greatly appreciated. And Discord and Twitter are down below. Hope we see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.